Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about first security issue of Diva that is insecure logging. So what is insecure logging? Before talking about it, let's talk about a normal scenario. So here our Android application may store some data as logs. So what happen is in Android all logs of all the different application are actually stored in a central position where all the application can store their logs. So what happen is if there is one Android application and that Android application is actually storing user sensitive information that uh, that information might be auth token, session ID or cookies even uh, usernames and password. And if that application is storing that sensitive information and logs then what an another application can do the another application can also access that logs and can steal our information. So this is in the case of insecure logging where our application stores something sensitive information in the logs and other application can also access that logs. But what happen is in the latest version of Android permission for assessing that central repository where our Android saves logs is totally changed. But here in this issue our motive is to figure out that what is being logged in Deva. So let me give you one scenario. So you can see here, here is our application Deva. So our application is actually storing something in this logs. So what another application can do just for example here is our malicious application so this malicious application can also access this central position and can steal our information but now let's see that what kind of issue is this in Deva so you can see here this is how the first issue looks like insecure logging in Deva application so you can see here our objective is that we have to find out that what is being logged by this application and we have to find out the vulnerable code so if you look at this challenge it's just writing here and it's just asking us that we have to write our credit card number and we have to click on checkout. So if, if we add here our credit card number and if we click on checkout, now let's see what actually happens if we click on checkout in our system. Now let's see that how exactly insecure logging issue is in Deva. So you can see here that our Motion is up and running and here is our application Deva. So let me open it up. So you can see here that its first issue or a first challenge is actually insecure logging. So let me open it up. So first of all, we'll go through the objective. So our objective is that we have to find out that what is being logged and where. Means as I told you earlier that in insecure logging, what happen is our Android developers ends up storing user sensitive information as logs. So in this issue, we actually have to find out that what is being logged by this application. Now let's try to play with this issue. So you can see here that it asking us for entering a credit card number. So let me enter anything and let me click on checkout. So you will see here that we got an error that error occurred. Please try again. Now we have to figure out that what is actually being logged by this application. So before we proceed, first of all, we will analyze the source code of this activity or source code of this security issue. So let me go inside my send to Google VM operating system. So you can see here that on my desktop, I have one APK file that is divabeta.apk. Well, there are different different ways in which you can analyze the source code like you can also reverse the file by using apk tool jdx but here I'm not reversing the file whereas I'll just unzip the content and then I will convert its dex file into a jar file and then I will analyze that jar file with the help of jdgv. So let me go here on my desktop. So you can see here one apk file divabeta.apk. So let me unzip the content in Deva directory and let's go inside that directory and you will see one file called as classes.dex. So let me convert this file. So dex to jar classes.dex hit enter and you can see here that it has started converting this dex file into exactly a jar file that is java archive file. Okay, so you can see here that we got our Java archive file and now we will analyze this file with the help of JDQ. So let me open JDQ and now let me pass this file. And let me expand this up 
and you can see here one package name called as jaka.aseam.deva so let me expand it up and here on the left hand side you will see a lot of activities and if I open any activity like our activity is actually a log activity so if I open it up you can see its entire source code so this is the activity which is actually responsible for storing our data as logs so now let's analyze its source code So you can see here that what actually happening is there is one function called as checkout. So this function is called whenever we click on this button that is checkout. So you can see here that what actually happening is it's actually storing something in logs. You can see here log and it's our log name is diva log. So this kind of error we see error while processing transaction with credit card and what it's actually doing is it's actually adding our user sensitive information that is our credit card as a, in logs. Now let's try to actually see that what is being stored in logs. So what I'm going to do is first of all we will find out the process ID of this application so that we can grab for that process ID in ADB logcat. So let me gonna write down here ADB shell PS and I'll grab for Diva. So you can see here that its process ID is 2516. Now let's try to do ADB log cat and now we will grab for this particular process ID that is 2516. And you can see here that we are able to find out its logs. Now let's go back to that issue and let me open that up. So let me enter any credit card number here and you can see here that if I click on checkout this application has actually stored our credit card number as logs. So you can see here error while processes transaction with credit card this. So as I told you earlier if any Android application is actually storing user sensitive information in logs that's another security issue. So this is how this issue is actually storing our information. So it's not a good practice to store user sensitive information in logs. So that's why this issue was in Diva to demonstrate or to explain to the users that why it's not mandatory or it's not necessary to store user information in logs. So in this video we talked about that what is insecure logging and how insecure logging works in Diva. So thanks for watching this video.